Here we have verse 29 of the 13th chapter of the Gospel of John. We are in that moment in which the disciples are somewhat confused because Jesus has said one of them will betray him. We've been able to identify Judas, but obviously the disciples themselves have not put that together yet. And so John gives us a description here of the somewhat confusing understanding that was in their minds. He says, tenes, this is the indefinite pronoun. It uh, means someone or, or it can be singular or plural. Uh, if it's plural, it's probably just going to be some. And that's what we have here. It's masculine plural nominative. The uh, uh, accent is included there because when the enclitic word, which is this, begins a clause, then the, in, the uh, accent will be included. So some for the postpositive, and then adokun. <clears throat> this is from dokeo. It means to think, to seem, to appear. In this case, it simply means to think. So for some uh, were thinking. This is the third person plural imperfect active indicative. So some of them were thinking. Epe, uh, this means uh, because similar to the word hoti, but because John uses hoti just a little bit later, probably for stylistic purposes, he introduces this less frequently used word. So some were thinking because to, the nominative, uh, uh, neuter, uh, uh, singular article, the, and then glossokomon is the word for a purse or a bag. It has an interesting history. You'll recognize glosso there is actually the word for tongue, and it broadly means the mouth, and then the rest of it uh, really has to do, with, therefore, with uh, a bag that was intended to hold a musical mouthpiece. Uh, but it had come to be uh, extended more fully than that, so it was no longer simply restricted to musical instruments or something related to the mouth, but actually was a word that simply meant a bag or a purse. So just the uh, kind of the uh, morphing of the language is suggested there. Uh, so some were thinking because the purse, ekain, this is from uh, echo, I have, it's the third person singular imperfect active indicative. So the bag he was having, and then udas is the subject of that. Of course, Judas was having the bag. He was the treasurer, presumably, carried the money bag. And then uh, uh, that hoti here, uh, in other words, it was because he had the money bag that lege, third person singular, present active indicative, uh, he says, auto, the indirect object, dative singular masculine, he says to him, then the subject of that verb, Jesus, so Jesus says to him, so it was because he was carrying the bag that Jesus says to him, agorason, uh, this is from the word agorazo, it means to buy, of course you know the word agora, which was the marketplace, related word, so this is uh, now a command. This is the uh, se second person singular, aorist active imperative, so by, and then hon, the relative pronoun in the genitive. Uh, this is the plural uh, uh, genitive, so by, of which would be the idea. And then crayon, the word for need, echomen. Again, uh, the word for I have, this is the first person plural, uh, present active indicative, uh, so it's that which we have need of would be the idea. That's why it's in the genitive there. Ace, preposition, takes the accusative, tain, hey or tain, the word for feast with the article. Uh, so that for which we have need with reference to the feast, uh, comma, and then or, maybe some other purpose for Jesus uh, discharging and sending uh, Judas away. Toys, the dative, uh, plural, uh, and it's the dative here of means, really, uh, to, then tokois, this is the word for the poor, so to the poor, hina, in order to, te, something, same really word here, except this is the neuter, uh, accusative singular, to give, do, from didomi, to give, this is the third person singular, aorist active subjunctive, the subjunctive going along with hina. 
So the uh, disciples, sort of casually musing as to what exactly Jesus had uh, commanded Judas to do, were speculating either that Judas was supposed to go and buy something that was needed for the feast, the, the feast of Passover, presumably, is in view here, or uh, to give something to the poor, which would have been a, a common thing to do. Uh, at this particular time because people who were poor sometimes couldn't afford to, uh, to obtain the things necessary for a proper celebration of the Passover. So, again, they still haven't quite figured out what's going on, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it seems that they were entertaining those particular speculative ideas in the, t in the moment.